Hi, this is Jason Aarons, and uh, I learned something new. Uh, typically, when I boot up a Cisco C260 or a C series server, I need to configure the uh, LSI Mega RAID, the RAID controller. And uh, usually, what I'll do is I'll set up two virtual drives. Uh, one will be a RAID 1 that's got two drives for ESXi, and then the remaining drives are in the RAID 5 array uh, for the virtual machines to run off of. Uh, this time, when the computer was booting up, I would hit Control H when I saw the LSI Mega RAID, uh, you know, Web BIOS option. And after post, it would never enter into the uh, Web BIOS from LSI Mega RAID. Uh, so I was stuck, and then I couldn't configure the uh, RAID uh, options in this server. It's a uh, C260M2 with the uh, uh, 9261-8i. And a couple articles indicate that there's known issues with the LSI web BIOS not uh, opening up. Um, so instead, I did something new. I used the CIMC to configure the RAID array. So if you take a look when you go over to storage uh, there on the left tab and uh, under controller, there's an option here that says, uh, you know, create virtual drive from unused physical disk. It's the uh, top option there. I've already done it. Um, so it uh, basically uh, created uh, two virtual disks, uh, basically added them. It looks very similar to the LSI Mega RAID uh, option when you, uh, when you choose to do so. Uh, but you can see here that I've created two virtual drives. One is RAID 1, the other one is RAID 5. And uh, ESXi is going to go to virtual drive 0. And I uh, also made uh, virtual drive 0 a boot drive, set it to boot uh, for this option. Um, but uh, always something new with uh, with Cisco.